when we have created one is one storage in aws which is s3 bucket and later on we have created a role which will be helpful for accessing from aws into snowflake now the very interesting point is that how are you going to integrate this particular aws with the snowflake so when we are talking about the integration we have to work on creating the integration path so to create that how we have to follow the query hi i am m asif hussain from no hub academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn how to create one storage integration path we are even going to see how to integrate the storage properties from the external id that we have created from aws so my dear viewers by the end of this video you could be able to go and create one storage integration object by using a query in snowflake so watch till the end here i have to create a storage integration object okay here what i have to do i have to go and create a storage integration object so now when i am trying to create i will use the command called create what i am creating i am creating a storage what storage integration storage for what bucket for s3 bucket that we have created so s3 is the bucket that we created in order to store some files some folders into our aws okay so now what type what type of storage are we creating we are creating an external storage because this is not inbuilt in uh, snowflake right so what we are creating we are creating outside of snowflake so that will be the external stage so now what is the who is the storage provider who is the provider of the storage is the s3 that we have it so s3 bucket that we are specifying it here so whether you want to make it enabled yes true okay that's true so now we have something called a storage role arn that we have to give it here so what exactly is arn and from where can we get it that we will guide it in this particular video so my dear viewers this is very important part okay so the storage that you have what is the location of it so here what we have to do we have to give our bucket name and the path to so that we can integrate it all right so now we have already created the s3 bucket so under this s3 bucket as you can see that i have created one s3 bucket which is knhw okay so now what i'm going to do i'll just copy this uh, storage name and i'll come and paste it here into this bucket name path okay so here i'll go and paste it so now it is asking us for the path what path okay so here i have power bi that i will consider it here what i'm going to do i'm going to consider the path as power bi that we have it into in my particular storage so that i'm specifying it and in the at last this is a comment it's up to us it is optional whether we give it whether we don't give it doesn't doesn't matter so now what i'm going to do i'm going to execute this thing so let us see but make sure that the you have the proper warehouse and proper admin that we have logged in into and let me click on execute okay when i click on execute what it is telling it is telling that storage role arn it is not available so we have to give the arn so from where should we get the arn arn if i log in into my iam okay identity and access management so if i get into my iam so under roles as you can see that i already have created one role which is snowflake role okay so now what i will be doing as you can see that we have something called as arn here okay so this i will copy it so this is some unique id you can consider for my particular role that arn i will come and i will paste it here okay i'll come and i will paste it here so this is my arn now i have pasted my arn what i am going to do is that i am going to create this one and i am going to execute as soon as i execute it is telling that the integration for s3 
it is successfully completed so now we have successfully created one integration but now let's go and see it now what i'm going to do let's go and see it so for this we will go into use describe okay describe the integration which is s3 integer that we have considered it here so this i am going to execute it as soon as i click on execute it is going to show me the property the property type the values that we have it here so let me just expand it for you so that it you it is very easy for you to look into it so as you can see that this is our arn am i right this is our arn and this is our iam user arn and this is our external id so what are all these things so if i just have a look into my iam user arn okay so here if i come back okay here what i'm going to do is that as you can see that we don't have the proper arn and the external id that we have considered this one that we are going to change it all right so for this what we have to do is that we have to come back into our snowflake and whatever the property value we have it for this iam user arn so this what i'm going to do i'm just copying this property value okay i'm just copying this property value I am coming here and I have to go and edit this particular trust policy. Okay, I have to go and edit this trust policy. So the ARN that I have it, that I am going to change it here. Okay, that I am going to change it here. So this is what I have it, the value that I am pasting it here. And as you can see that while we are creating this role, we have manually given one particular external ID. Here I have taken 1111. Now, if i go back into my snowflake we can see that under external id we have some external id here right so that i am going to paste it that i am going to paste it into this id where i have selected so as soon as i paste it now what i am going to do i am going to update the policy as soon as i go and update the policy you can see that the policy is successfully updated okay the policy is successfully updated all right so what exactly it does mean so what i have done is that we have created one integration object so before creating one integration object we have created one storage which is s3 bucket in aws after creating s3 bucket we have created some folders we have created some files in it right so now we have uploaded some power bi files some snowflake files in it so once that is done we have created what we have created a role for what so that we can integrate that particular role with our aws okay with our snowflake probably so what we are doing it here is that we are creating that using a particular query the integration object so we have successfully integrated our aws with snowflake right so the next part comes is how we have to go and load the data into this one so my dear viewers in this video we have learned how to create the storage integration object and we have also learned how we have to integrate our snowflake with aws by using the different arn and external id thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning